This is a badger's scratching tree in Spears Old School Grounds near Beeve in North Ayrshire. This particular tree is a lime. Lime is not known to be rich in the sugar contained within the bark because badgers are thought to eat the bark in some cases, such as those of uh, the maples and the sycamore trees. You can clearly make out the powerful scratches made by the badgers on the, the wood of the tree, having ripped away the bark. It's thought that there's maybe sort of territorial markings. It's also thought that it may be simply to clean their claws. The other explanation was that of actually scratching off the bark to obtain some sugar from eating it. In this case, the badger's set is not within the grounds, but the tracks made by the badgers on their journeys can be identified across the lawns within the old school grounds. This is another badger's scratching tree. This one hasn't been used for a while. The claw marks can still be made out on the bare wood and the callus growth, that is the repair by the tree of its bark can be seen around the edges. It's unlikely this tree will be able to repair such a large gap, but the callus growth is encroaching, covering, protecting some of the damaged wood. This particular tree had confirmation that it was badgers causing this damage by having a pit shallow pit dug at the base, filled with uh, fine sand that was wetted, and it, we could make out the marks of the paws and claws of the badger in the sand. Clearly it was having to stand up on its back legs to do this damage to the tree. I'd say this being a sycamore, or sometimes called Celtic maple, Asa pseudopotanus, uh, the Effectively, like maple syrup comes from the maple tree, uh, this also has uh, tasty bark, if you like, rich in sugar. The problem with the move of the bark here is that this wood will have uh, bacterial, fungal infections will move in and the tree will not reach its normal lifespan. Indeed, it could become um, positively dangerous in the sense that the tree could fall um, unpredictably at some time in the future.